The Lord Shiva is also identified as Nataraja or cosmic dancer. And this is an avatar that continues to inspire anyone with a passion for classical Indian dance. The US-based Dakshina Daniel Phoenix Singh Dance Company interweaves Bharatanatyam and contemporary styles. And Mela met up with the dancers when they performed in Durban recently. For the past two decades, the University of KwaZulu-Natal has welcomed dancers from across the country and the globe to the annual Jomba Contemporary Arts Experience. This performing arts festival not only offers a platform for South African dancers and choreographers, but also draws respected international companies, as artistic director Leanne Lewitz explained. We are incredibly excited this year. 2019 marks the 21st anniversary of the Jomba Contemporary Dance Festival, hosted by the Centre for Creative Arts here at the University of Kozulu Natal. It is a milestone that we've been delighted to celebrate with an amazing programme of artists, dancers, choreographers coming from all over the world to come and share this space of critical arts and to just celebrate the incredible power of dance as an art form that can shift and change the world. One of the huge highlights of this year's festival is the presence of the Dakshina Dance Company all the way from Washington. They're an extraordinary dance company which focuses on Bharatanatyam as a core dance language, but they've infused it with a kind of contemporary dance training and a contemporary dance sensibility. So it's this incredible fusion intercultural dance company that's finding new ways to use ancient dance languages from India and using them in a way that speaks to a kind of contemporary sense of self and of being. So it's also a sharing of an ancient cultural tradition from India as well. Dakshina began in 2003. Daniel Phoenix Singh is our director. The name Dakshina means an offering because all of our choreography and everything that Daniel does is really an offering. He's quite a generous soul and he just wants to share art with as many people as he can. One of our aims is to always present work that is new and different, that hasn't been seen before. To have an opportunity this big is really special for us. It's our real pleasure and honor this evening to be a part of Jomba um, as one of the sponsors. The U.S. Consulate here in Durban, we understand that the creative industries are an amazing engine of economic development. Jomba Festival is an important festival for South Africa. It's an important festival here in Durban, and we wanted to support it by bringing a top-notch American artist to be a part of what is the, the great vibe that Jomba is. very aware of South Africa's connection to Indian culture. I joined the company back in 2015 and I had already been to South Africa twice before in 2009 and 2010. And when I joined the company, I mentioned to Daniel that we should look into doing work in South Africa to share how we hybridize contemporary dance and Indian dance. I do think that dance is a universal love form. When we arrived in Durban, we were able to see some youth dance performers in the Jumbo Festival, and the, the dance just translated so well, and being from another continent, that we share the same language uh, that is dance, it was just so magical, and it was awesome to see them perform so well. Being a classical dancer ourselves, it's always nice to see what other people do. I think it was such a beautiful piece. The merging of the feet and the body and the mind and the story that wove itself through. It really excites me to have a space where artists can share all their potentials from all walks of life, from all over the world actually. Mm -hmm. 